Hi everyone. So today's topic of our discussion is autocoids. Okay, so let's understand what is an autocoid. Autocoid are the substances which are released uh, during the cell injury or there is some physical injury, and these are mostly secreted at the local site only. So they can also be referred to as local hormones. हम इनको local hormones भी बोल सकते हैं because they are actually secreted or they are actually located near the site of its production, right? autocoids are actually not the hormones and they are actually not the neurotransmitters but they can also work like the neurotransmitters right so we have different classes of drugs which act like autocoids pehle to amine autocoids ho sakte hain there can be lipid autocoids peptide autocoids and other if i am talking about the amine autocoids the histamine and serotonin 5 hydroxytryptamine are the two amine autocoids you should be knowing about then we come to the lipid autocoids lipid autocoids are the prostaglandins leukotrienes and platelet activating factor then the next ones are the peptide autocoids these include bradykinin calidin and angiotensins there are other autocoids also like tnf alpha interleukins vasoactive peptides anps so all those are also the different categories of autocoids which you should be knowing so let's start with the histamine right so histamine is also known as tissue amine hista means tissues amine means it has an amino group in its structure so you have to remember where histamine is mostly present so it is mostly present at the level of the mast cells so mast cells are its uh, the storage or the basophils are the storage area where we find the maximum histamine but it is not necessarily that all the histamine is present there right so non mast cells also have histamine like brain so at certain places histamine do acts like neurotransmitter so it can also be present at the skin gastric and intestinal mucosa lungs liver so it is also present at the level of the placenta and it is also present in some snakes venoms or the insects so histamine has a structure of the beta amidazole ethyl amine so it has an imidazole ring in it right so it is basically synthesized from an local amino acid you should be knowing about the amino acid from which the histamine is derived is histidine l histidine by decarboxylation gets converted to the histamine histamine is also present at the level of the fishes so it is very very important whenever you um uh, have half cooked fish then it can leads to some anaphylactic reactions or the toxicity of the histamine because your fish is either spoiled or is half cooked and it contains the histidine so as i have already told you histidine se derive hua histamine and through the decarboxylation reaction then this histamine is stored at the level of the mast cells the order gets metabolized through two enzymes n methyl transferase it leads to the n methyl histamine and diamine oxidase it leads to the imidazole acetic acid so these are the two end products which we get from the histamine degradation right so we also have different histamine releases so histamine is not only released from mast cells and there can be other reasons through which the histamine can be released like if there is tissue damage or because of the trauma because of the insect bite because of the uh, venom of the snake there can be tissue damage which can lead to the histamine release there can be antigen antibody reaction which leads to the histamine release and certain drugs also promote the release of the histamine like morphine vancomycin morphine vancomycin these are the basic drugs so they have the tendency to displace the heparin uh, and histamine bond so in our cells there is heparin histidine bond so they have the propensity or the tendency to replace it or displace it so histamine is released and it gets free and it comes into the circulation leading to the anaphylactic reactions and uh, the famous reaction which we know of vancomycin तो अगर आप अचानक से vancomycin का आई वी बोलस या आई वी रश करा देते हो तो इट लीड्स टू द रेड मैन सिंड्रोम because of the sudden histamine release so leading to the flushing and the body of the person turns out red so let's understand about the different types of histamine receptors which you should be knowing about the well known receptors are the three but total there are four known receptors h1 h2 h3 and h4 char tarike ke receptor hote hain 
now the first one receptor is present in the gut in the blood vessels in the brain and the h2 is present at the level of the stomach and in, it increases the gastric acid secretion h3 is present at the level of the cns and h4 is also another receptor which is at the level of the eosinophils neutrophils and which is involved at the level of the chemotaxis or inflammation so let's move forward that histamine as at all the receptor is the gpcr type of receptor yaad rakhne ke liye bhi aise rakh lo ki these are both stimulatory type and the h3 and h4 are inhibitory type theek hai but hame kaise yaad rakhna the h1 is basically the gq type and h2 is gs type rest two are the inhibitory types so gq uh will function through ip3 dag pathway and leads to the increase in the level of the calcium which leads to the smooth muscle contractions and it also causes the vasodilatation so these are the basic functions you should be knowing about the h1 receptors now if i had talk about the h2 receptors these work through the stimulatory type and they increases the cyclic amp it also leads to the vasodilatation but the major function is it increases the gastric acid secretion the next type is the h3 type so h3 are the very very important and a little different receptor because at the h3 level you should always remember these are the presynaptic autoreceptors so if i talk about the presynaptic autoreceptor means they uh inhibit their own function right wo h1 aur h2 ka jo bhi function ho raha tha wo h3 apne aap un functions ko inhibit karne ka tendency rakhta hai ya break lagane ka tendency rakhta hai to it in- decreases the cyclic amp because of the inhibitory type and jo ye wale functions the iski wajah se histamine ko decrease kar de the other type which is the h4 type to h4 is also decrease in cyclic amp आई एल नॉट बी टेलिंग यू एवरी थिंग अगेन बट एच वन के लेवल पर आपको क्या याद रखना है ब्रॉन्केल जी आई टी और यूट्राइन कंट्रैक्शन हो जाती हैं ब्लड वेसल्स के लेवल पर वेज डायलिटेशन हो जाता है वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट है एंड हार्ट के लेवल पर इनहिबिशन शो करता है गैस्ट्रिक एसिड सिक्रीशन में एसिड का सिक्रीशन इंक्रीज करा देगा ब्लड वेसल का वेज डायलिटेशन कराएगा बट हार्ट का स्टिमुलेशन कराता है जबकि ये हार्ट का इनहिबिशन करा रहा था ठीक है now i move forward to the agonist and the antagonist which are selective to them so h1 has 2 methyl histamine h2 has 4 methyl and h3 has alpha methyl histamine so how can you remember वन के पास टू है टू के पास फोर है ठीक है एंड थ्री के पास कुछ भी नहीं है सो देर इज नो न्यूमेरिकल्स एन इट बट इट हैज एन अल्फा मिथाइल सो अल्फा मिथाइल हिस्टमीन इज द सिलेक्टिव एगोनेस्ट एट दैट लेवल नाउ इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द सिलेक्टिव एंटागोनेस्ट सो दे हैव द क्लोर फेनरामीन मी पायरामीन लाइक वाइज द एच टू हैव सिमेटेडीन रेनेटेडीन एंड एच थ्री हैज थियोपैरामाइड एंड क्लोबिन प्रोपेट एट द एंटागोनेस्ट एट द एच थ्री लेवल राइट so now i move to the actions at the individual level histamine leads to the dilatation of the small vessels leading to the hypotension and finally which leads to the reflex tachycardia aise cerebral blood vessels ke level pe bhi dilatation cause karega leading to the throbbing headache also intradermal injection of the histamine do show us this triple response of lewis aapko dekhne ko milta hai flushing flare and wheel are the three symptoms or the three responses which are seen flushing is because of the capillary dilatation flare is because of the arteriolar dilatation and wheel is because there is local edema because of the escape of fluid from the capillaries right and this is known as the triple response of lewis right at the level of the smooth muscles we have already talked bronchoconstriction karata hai ya fir intestinal motility ko increase karega gastric acid ke secretion ko badhata hai cns ke level pe neurotransmitter ki tarah kaam karega earlier there used to be the different uses for histamine but aajkal hum koi therapeutic value ke liye nahi use karte hain histamine ko rather it was used for the diagnostic test earlier to back then kya hota tha it was used for the testing of the gastric acid secretion for diagnosis of the pheochromocytoma and for the pulmonary function test but now it is not used because of the different adverse drug reactions of the histamine or we have the better diagnostic test available so what were the adverse drug reactions with the histamine it causes hypotension tachycardia flushing headache bronchospasm and diarrhea so, so yeah thank you so much like share and subscribe to the youtube channel which is the drug doctor channel bye bye